Foreign keys have the built-in property of having reverse relationships. Now, we've already seen this a lot, but just to recap, from a playlist instance or any model instance that has a foreign key, I can actually access the other model instance from that foreign key, right? I can use that dot notation to get category, for example, in all the fields that are associated to it. And the reverse is also true. From category, I can also get the playlist and all the fields that are associated to it, or even a whole query set of them. So that's actually really cool. But unfortunately, generic foreign keys don't actually allow for that. So we can take a look at this in the Python shell. So if we jump into the Python shell and Python manage.py shell, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the playlist itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab any given playlist from playlist.models. We're gonna import the playlist class. And that should be from playlists.models, of course. And the object will be playlist.objects.first. And if I do dir on this object, I see that I have the other foreign keys, right? So I have the category. I can grab the category instance from there if there is one. And then also all of the other related fields that I had, right? So I had the playlist in here as well. So there should be a playlist set somewhere, playlist item set and a playlist set. Really cool. So I, I have that solid relationship. But what I don't see in here is actual tagged items. Right, so from this model, from the generic foreign key. So we actually need to add that into our model so we have access to it. Now to do this, it's actually pretty simple. We're gonna go ahead and import two things. First off, we're gonna import a field from the content type framework. So from django.contrib.contenttypes.fields. We're gonna import the generic relation field. And then I'm gonna go ahead and import the actual tag model, so the actual foreign key that had, or excuse me, the actual model that has the generic foreign keys go in. So we're gonna go ahead and do from tags.models, we're gonna import that tagged um, item. Cool. So now inside of my playlist, I'm gonna scroll to the bottom and say tags equals to generic relation of that tagged item, okay? So one other aspect to this is I wanna add a related query name. So if I do related query name, this is actually going to declare just simply playlist. Okay. So this is just like a related name in a sense, but it's actually gonna be associated to the tagged item itself, which we'll see in just a little bit. So now that we've got that, let's go ahead and run our migrations because we made some changes to the model. So I'll run python manage.py and make migrations. And again, no changes detected. Ooh, that's kind of strange. I just made a change. I added a field, or did I? Well, actually not. This is not actually adding anything into the database. It's just giving us some convenience methods that make it easier to actually do the lookups that we need. Um, similar to how the content object itself doesn't actually give us a new field in the database. It actually just kind of references things. So we can now actually use this pretty much anywhere. But what I'm gonna do is actually bring it into the admin first. So inside of my tags app, I'm gonna go ahead and go into the admin and we're gonna go ahead and import from django.contrib.contenttypes.admin. We're gonna import the generic tabular inline. And the reason for this is I'm going to go ahead and say class tag tagged item inline and this is going to take in this generic tabular inline. Now the reason I'm declaring it here and not in where I'm actually going to use it has to do with the fact that I will probably re be reusing this. So I would go ahead and set the model itself and then I'll go ahead and do extra being zero. So this has all of the standard admin tabular inline things that we've seen before. So admin.tabular uh, inline. It will actually function very similar to that. Uh, there are some caveats, what, two of them being that if we changed content type and object ID to something different, we'd actually have to declare those. So check the documentation if you're interested in that. But now that we've got this, let's go ahead and actually go into our playlist admin and we'll bring this in here. So now, We'll go ahead and do from the tags.admin, we're gonna import the tagged item admin. And everywhere I want the this as an inline, I'm gonna add it. So the very first one is gonna be my TV show proxy admin. 
and I'm actually gonna put it right above my TV show season proxy admin. Okay, so now that we've got that, let's go ahead and make sure our server's running. Sure enough, it is. And I'm gonna go back in to, let's say TV shows, go into the office, and if I scroll down, I see that it is tagged with one object here. But should it be two, right? So let's actually go into that part of the admin and take a look at all of my tagged items. Right, so inside of tagged items, I got one here and it gives me comedy and look at content type, playlist TV show, and it even gives me the content object of the office. Well, this is actually referencing the proxy. It's not referencing the original model, which is simply playlist. So that's why we actually wanna also use these generic inlines, right? So I wanna actually put it here so it's actually tagged on the correct model itself. Right, so this says comedy, that is a tag that kind of works, but I wanna bring it one, one step further and write comedy uh, in here and hit save and continue. And now I've got two tagged items for this, even though in the database, it probably looks like I have three, right? So this is just how you're supposed to do it, right? This is still a tagged item and there would still be a way to get this particular content object but it's not something that I particularly want. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one. And in fact, I probably wanna make these a generally read only fields. I'm not gonna do it right now. I think you know how to do it, but the general idea is I don't actually wanna change these content objects inside of the admin. I don't want that ability because I might make a mistake and actually put it on one of the proxies. Does that mean we can't actually make a bunch of modifications to make it work with one of the proxies? Well, of course we could do all of that, but that's a ton of work that we don't need to do. And especially because the tags themselves should probably be tagged on the actual object itself, right? So office is a comedy. Uh, it has, I guess, action. <laughs> it's a TV show. Uh, let's see, we could say something like Steve uh, Carell. And, you know, you could give all sorts of really cool things related to the tags that you might want to in here, right? And notice that it's giving me some validation errors as well. So granted, I have the right TV sh uh, show in here. Um, and, and, you know, this is also something else that I want to rethink as to what I was mentioning when I created this tagged item, why I would even want to have a title field in here altogether is so that in the admin, I can just give titles and then it would automatically create the slugs for me. Uh, but again, that's not something I'm going to do right now. Okay, so now that we've got these tagged items, I do want to show you why I created uh, this little thing called related query name. And this actually has something more to do with the eventual views that we'll have on here. So let's go ahead and jump into Python manage.py shell, and then we'll go ahead and import the tagged item only. So from tags on models, I'm gonna import the tagged item class, and I would now do query set equals a tagged item dot objects dot filter. And now I actually wanna filter by this related query name, whatever I actually ended up calling this. So I would filter playlist underscore, underscore, title, underscore, underscore, I contains. And let's go ahead and say, you know, the office. I hit enter and it should say I contains with an S in here. Let's try that again. And I get a query set and now I've got my three different tags that contain the office in here, right? So I actually can see all of the instances of a tagged item that say the office. And I can also get those values, so I could do values of the actual tag itself, and I can see what those tags are. So that'd be one way, of course, to actually find that. But also, since we have this generic relationship, we can import the, the model itself that's using it. So in this case, of course, it's the playlist model. So we can also do from uh, playlists.models, we're gonna import that playlist class and then I'll do obj equals to playlist.objects.first, and then ob, oops, and let's try that again with no zero in there, and then obj.tags.all, and there we go. So this actually functions identically to the many-to-many -many field. That means I can add things on here, I can save things on here, I can do all sorts of cool things with the tags themselves, uh, but that's getting into the weeds of something that we don't need to spend a lot of time on, especially because I'm going to test this in the next one that will show you how to actually add 
certain things to a related foreign key object. Um, but this is actually really, really cool. I think this is a nice feature to add to your project and it doesn't actually change your database too much. So taking all this into account, we can quite easily add this into our categories if we wanted to tag our categories. So going into our categories, we would just go now into that model and bring in tags here. Okay, so the category itself can and should probably have tags. So we'll go ahead and import this now from tags.models. We're gonna import that tagged item and then we'll go ahead and import the relation itself. And then now this is gonna just be category no longer, the related query name is gonna be category. You also don't need a related query name if you don't wanna add one, um, but this actually makes it a little bit easier for me. And then the next thing, if I wanted to, I could add this into the admin itself, but I didn't add the, the inlines and all that stuff uh, at this point, just because we don't really need to, because uh, you can now see how it's done. And that's just a simple and easy way to bring these tags everywhere. So let me know if you have any questions on this. Otherwise, let's keep going and actually test how we implement these relationships.